Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. What kind of damage do you, did you get from that magnitude 5.1 earthquake there in Texas? Originally USGS said it was a 4.8, but then they upgraded it to a 5.0 and then later to a 5.1. 2,305 people said they felt this earthquake. USGS gave it an intensity level of 6 which means you have damage. None of the news sites are reporting any damage, of course. Yeah, but it says felt by all. Many were frightened and possibly ran outdoors. There would have been falling plaster and chimneys damage small. What about the pipelines? They're probably made, you know, fairly flexible at the joints for um, earthquakes. An initial report said it was felt over 200 miles away. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please put your information down below. Did you know they're injecting CO2 into wells? More about that in a minute. And why they're doing that for the oil industry. Here we got reports all the way from San Antonio. Um, we also got reports from... Let's see. I'll try and zoom in here so I can see it. Looks like close to Lake Houston. We got Pinehurst, Humble, um, and Tumble. Um, to the north, Amarillo. A lot of reports up over there. Wow. And what's this one in green? Um, Wolf Forth, intensity level 5. Wow. Let's see, um, Carlsbad, um, close, also close to Roswell, New Mexico, intensity level 3 there. Carlsbad, intensity level 3. In the area of the initial earthquake, yeah, intensity level 6. Um, Rodham, intensity level 6. Of course, uh, the town that they mentioned, um, Intensity level 6. More reports. Yeah, and then over here, Snyder. Intensity level 5. I tried to find out. There's a, a convenience store there. Uh, I imagine things were knocked off the shelves. But I couldn't find anything on Twitter about that. Yeah, so if you have images that you can share with us. Or even um, put comments down below about... Um, yeah, earthquake damage. I'd really appreciate it. Colorado City. All these earthquakes started on the 22nd with a magnitude 4.9. That would have been Monday. So far since Monday, there has been a total of, let me bring this up, 79 earthquakes. So I was wondering about damage over here. It says Camp Spring historical marker and there is some homes there some farms so this er earthquake occurred at 9 28 a.m local time about 10 miles northeast of Hemley in west texas and like i said initially they said it was a 4.8 and then they upgraded it to a 5.0 and then a 5.1 the epicenter was uh, about 200 miles west of Fort Worth. And here on EMSC um, from Snyder, there is several reports. It says it was way bigger than the 4.9 the other night. Definitely rattled and shook everything. Um, shop was a rockin'. Shook our manufactured home and lasted for a while. Colorado City felt in South Colorado the house shook felt the house rock back and forth and dishes rattled in the cabinet now that was 86 kilometers northeast in rural so that would be about 53 miles um, Holly first quake for me wild um, Lubbock 106 
146 kilometers northwest, so that would be about 90.7 miles. Midland, um, Greenwood area rumbling, low rumbling for about five seconds, then the larger shaking happened. Another one from um, Lubbock said two seconds of shaking. San Angelio, um, I thought the dog was hitting the back of the couch, but she was in the other room. And I could hear a soft shuddering noise that lasted a bit. Okay, another report from Lubbock. Whoa, definitely detected. Okay, another one. Ah, Midland, felt my chair shake on the building on the seventh floor. Then heard the rumble. Let's see. Uh, Ranger felt it. Felt like a gentle shake. Felt down, downtown Odessa. Um, why are you always lowering the magnitude? You are a retard or vaccinated. God is watching you. Yeah. Let's see. This one here from Mullen lasted about eight seconds glassware and pictures rattled in the cabinet on the wall another report that was 271 kilometers in weatherford so that would be 168 miles house shook slightly um bowie 276 kilometers so that would be about 171 miles glasses rattled in the cabinets this one said they were laying on the bed and started feeling it shake while someone was, like someone was moving it. Excuse me. Let's see. Armorillo. Very slight movement. Um, Arlington. Desk at work and surrounding swing. Enough to make knocking noises at my desk, desk and caused dizziness. So that is 208 miles. Um, comfort. Thought it hit the button on my massage chair. Chair was off. Little vibration movement for about three to five seconds. Um, Irving. Sofa shook. Ceiling fan swayed. Um, felt the earthquake in Selena, north of Dallas. And building shook for a couple of seconds. No damage. That was in Austin. 394 kilometers. So that is farther than 244 miles there was no initial reports of injuries or damage i know you got damage the hemley area has seen a cluster of earthquakes in recent weeks and researchers have also noticed an uptick in earthquakes in that area and have attributed it to a form of oil drilling known as hydraulic fracking or fracking the uh, disposal of wastewater involved with uh, fracking that has led to a rise of earthquakes in Texas. Researchers are finally admitting that. In 2003, there was 2,493 earthquakes that registered a 2.0 or higher on the Richter scale in Texas, according to data compiled by the Bureau of Economic Geology at the University of Texas in Austin. These numbers were similar to those in 2022 when Texas saw 2,601 earthquakes of at least 2.0 or larger magnitude. Earthquakes have more than doubled since 2020 and eight times the amount in 2017, all according to the Bureau which tracks Texas earthquake through the Tex Net Earthquake Catalog. Yeah, you gotta pay for that to use it. Let me bring this out. So there in Snyder, Texas, they've seen a lot of quakes exceeding a magnitude 4.0. The area in Snyder is where they want to inject CO2 for enhancing recovery of the oil. It's also where the RRC wants to have CO2 injection wells. So, exactly what is carbon dioxide enhanced oil recovery? It is used to extend the productive life of an existing oil well by several decades, and it can lead to the recovery of millions of barrels of additional oil. The basic principle behind CO2EOR 
is the mutual solubility of crude oil and CO2 in the temperature and pressure conditions of a geologic reservoir. CO2 EOR is an established technique in the United States and is the only recovery technique that is shown to grown since the 1980s. In fact, CO2 EOR now accounts for over 5% of the nation's oil production. I did not know that until I started doing some research about this CO2 injection for the wells. It can extend the production of oil wells by decades. All about money. And it can lead to the recovery of millions of barrels of additional oil. Injected CO2 is able to dissolve and displace oil residue that is trapped in rock pores like a solvent, is able to displace grease from a dirty bicycle chain. In a typical CO2 flood operation, a pipeline delivers CO2 to the oil field where it is directly injected into the wells. These wells are strategically placed to optimize the aerial sweep of the CO2 through the reservoir. As the injected CO2 moves through the pore spaces in the rock, it encounters residual crude oil. The crude oil mixes with the CO2, decreases the oil velocity, pressurizes it, and mobilizes it, forming a concentrated oil bank that is swept to producing wells. In this way, oil and gas companies are able to gain access to oil that would otherwise be left behind in the ground. Interestingly, this 5.1 is also in the same location of the 4.9. Because CO2 mixes with oil, the oil floats and becomes less dense as a result. CO2 gas injection has been one of the most effective strategies for improving oil recovery in storing greenhouse gases in geological context for a long time, thereby helping mitigate the effects of global warming. Yeah, destroying. So when they have these earthquakes, how much CO2 is being, I mean, it comes up with the oil. So it's still being released into the environment, right? CO2 injection was first tested in the early 1970s in West Texas where they're having these earthquakes. And since then, it has been utilized successfully throughout the Premium Basin of West Texas and Eastern New Mexico. It is also currently being used in oil fields in Kansas, Mississippi, Wyoming. Oh yeah, great. Wyoming super volcano. Oklahoma, Colorado, yeah, there's been an increase in earthquakes in Colorado and Utah, Montana, Alaska, and Pennsylvania, all areas where we have seen an increase in large earthquakes. Then on top of it, we got the weakening of the Earth's magnetic field, which is creating earthquakes. Ancient fault lines that were not active are now becoming active. Do they really think they continue, can continue these practices playing God? It's just, it's just amazing the things that we do to our planet, you know, pooping in our own home. Yeah. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.